they were launching a prize in honor of author Hugo Klaus, and they were going to call it the Hugo Award, and had begun to promote it. Uh, Nicholas White, who was last year's Hugo administrator, lives there, and he made initial contact with them at our request. We did a bit of back and forth discussions with them, and they did eventually agree to rename their prize the Hugo Kloss Trophy, and they will not in their own material call them the Hugos. The committee believes that one of the reasons that we were able to reach a successful negotiation with them without having to call in expensive attorneys in particular is the fact that as of last year, um, Hugo Award is among the items, uh, sorry, is among the intellectual property service marks owned by WIP in the European Union. And that was a good use of our money to get it. Everything else has been a mostly routine year for us. And unless there are any questions, we have nothing further to report. Thank you, Mr. Stanley. Uh, next order of business will be nominations for elections to the Mark Protection Committee. The retiring members are Bruce Farr, Stephen Boucher, and Don Eastlake. Do <laughs> Andrew Adams, um, you did not ask if there were questions for the oh, uh, protection committee. I beg I your pardon. Yep. <laughs> do you have a question yes, for them? I do have a question. <laughs> then thank you. In that case, go there and I'll go over here. Andrew Adams, um, has uh, the uh, Mark Protection Committee and WUP looked at the issue regarding Brexit and the possible need to re-register the marks in the UK following 2019 or 2021? The committee has not undertaken this at this time. Uh, we are uh, periodically, but not often, because it costs money for them to open emails from us uh, in contact with our attorneys in the UK, and the last word that we had from them was, we don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Any further questions for the Mark Protection Committee? Um, one quick note, Andrew, you might want to move further into the centre. You're right in line with some lights from me. <laughs> I can see you, yes, but <laughs> Andrew was right in <laughs> immediately under them, <laughs> and therefore not at all obvious. Right, as I was saying, um, elections. Do we have people wish to be nominated to the Mark Protection Committee? Yes. Well, the number you're so. I'm sorry, I can't. Who? You, your name? <clears throat> Judith Bemis. I would like to stand in for the Mark Protection Committee. Yep. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Mm hmm. This way on. Mr. Chairman, I ask unanimous consent that the, uh, the incumbent members uh, be renominated. Any objection to the uh, renominating all the incumbents as well, plus Judy? I only ask unanimous consent because ordinarily you can only make one nomination per person. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Stephen Boucher, Don Eastlake, and Bruce Farr are the retiring members. Mark Olson also has an expiring term this year, but he was an appointed, not an elected member. That's what it says. I trust you implicitly. <laughs> Terry. My name is Terry Neal, and I have a question for the chair. Um, if we unanimously renominate the current members, can we add to that, or is that the maximum we can have? Uh, we can add as many other nominees like Judy as we wish. Thank you. <laughs> It just means we'll have an actual election tomorrow rather than just uh, the usual coronation. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Any other nominees? Seeing none, close nominees. We have four nominees and there will therefore be an election tomorrow. All right. Next committee. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second to catch up. Right. Right. 
Uh, yes, I believe, unless Linda was about to tell us that, I believe there is something about having to give written uh, assent to be uh, nominated. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> um, Terry, can you run one back to Judy or somebody? Whoops. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay. <laughs> I can do mine. <laughs> we can, I suspect, take the consent oh, of the usual form. suspects. Pardon? This is a voting form. That's all right. We don't need them till tomorrow. Oh. Here. Uh. Right. Don, were you speaking yeah, for the yeah. nitpicking committee? Sure. Do we have a report? Yep. <laughs> Well, sort of. My name is Donald Eastlake. I'm the uh, chairman of the Nipicking and Fly Specking Committee, uh, which doesn't mean much. We just sort of take turns. There's like four or five of us that do this thing. Uh, anyway, um, our job is to maintain the list of rulings and resolutions of continuing effect, which uh, have been posted on the web and are referred to in the agenda codifying the customs and usages of WISFUS and business meeting. Uh, the current members of the committee are willing to serve for another year. And uh, really our only uh, recommendation to this business meeting is to uh, pass constitutional amendments D4, item D4 in the agenda, adding series to series. D2, yes. Can you speak a little bit louder? Yes, I can speak louder. Is this better? Yes. Do I need to repeat everything I said? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So I was saying that um, the job of the nitpicking and fly specking committee is to uh, codify customs and usages of WISTAS and maintain the list of rulings and resolutions of continuing effect, which uh, are posted on the web, and the pointer to is in uh, the agenda. So you can go look at that. The members of the committee are willing to serve for another year. Uh, by the way, the committee is provided for in the standing rules of the business meeting, so unless those are changed, uh, there will be such a committee and the chair gets to appoint them unless the assembly wishes to some other procedure. And our only recommendation to this business meeting is the passage of uh, item D2, uh, which is uh, the constitutional amendment whose short title is adding series to the series. Thank you. Any questions for the uh, nitpicking committee? I do have a slight nitpick about our report, uh, which is that my last name is Lip, not Pershing. <laughs> and so we should probably update that. We can do that. I okay, the secretary. I apologize, Jesse. It's again copying and pasting. <laughs> yeah, I completely understand. Thank you. Um, I shall reappoint the, the committee, plus I think it was Joe Van who also uh, wished to be added to the list, so I'll add her. Yeah, nice one. Right, is there anyone here from the Worldcon Runners Guide Editorial Committee wishing to report? Seeing none, I will ask them again tomorrow. Um, Folly Committee, anybody wish to report? Seeing none. Who are we adding to the, to the nitpicking? Joe Van Eck. And the Hugo Awards Study Committee, do they have a report? <laughs> Boy, do they have a report. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Questions? Why? Hello, Vincent Doherty, the uh, hopefully outgoing chair of the uh, Hugo Awards Study <laughs> Committee. Um, uh, thank you for uh, appointing us last year. Um, we did have many interesting conversations. Um, the report is uh, included in the pack, uh, 32 pages, as in all cases. If we'd had more time, it would be shorter. Um, there are a number of specific uh, recommendations that the, uh, the committee made. They are listed uh, D4, best podcasts. Uh, D5 on uh, Professional and Fan Artist Hugo Awards. There's also a Minority Report, D5.1. And then a D6 on the short title, Comic Books and Graphic Stories. We also recommended, given that the, uh, uh, although we did reach broad consensus,